Hello my awesome YouTube family. How are you doing? You're welcome to another episode of Nursing with Abby. So today we're going to get right into the business of the day. Now, the, this episode is titled, um, A Country That You Can Practice as a Nurse Without IELTS or NCLEX. Mm. Yes, at least I know one country that you can practice without um, needing IELTS or um, NCLEX. And that is United Arab Emirates. Yes, United Arab Emirates. But before I delve into it, I'd like to thank all of my returning subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for always supporting this channel thank you for always supporting me thank you for sharing for liking for commenting for subscribing i really appreciate it. and also for those who are meeting me for the first time my name is abiodun abi for short and you're welcome to nursing with abi so here we talk about nursing lifestyle and everything in between yes that's it so um please do well to like share subscribe and comment i'd like to see your comments and then um so we can move ahead together with knowledge 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 all the way so today i said we're going to be talking about um a country that you can practice a license as a nurse without nclex or ielts and that is united arab emirates now, sincerely, in whatever capacity that you are, definitely you should have practiced as a nurse from your home country. At least that is important. That is like the, the, the most important. You should have been licensed and practicing as a nurse in your home country. Sincerely, I'm not an advocate of saying that oh, you leave your country, go to another man's land or thereabout. But you know, there could be some circumstances that you might say, okay, let me just go and, you know, Feel, feel the the heat let me just go to experience another kind of life as a nurse in another country and then probably come back and then develop my country so there is really no big deal about migrating but you need to have the right information as they say information is power knowledge is power the right information there's so many informations flying around and it's important for us to actually get the right information because it is frustrating in fact it is it is disheartening for someone to leave his country to another man's land with a false information at the back of his or her mind because it just frustrates all of your efforts you waste time you waste money you waste energy you waste resources in fact even you you're, you're depressed some people go into extreme depression because they the, what they expected was not what they found or what they saw. So it is important that the right information is being disseminated to you if you want to migrate from one country to another. Okay? And that information is most important for those who are in your line of profession. Not from just from not information from just travel agents who just want to um, increase their customer base. No. It should be from those if you want to travel to another country, maybe you want to travel to um, a country like Canada and you want to go and practice as a nurse there. It's important to get the right information from nurses that are practicing in Canada. Most preferably, the nurses from your country. For example, if you're a Nigerian nurse, you want to go to Canada, it's better to have information from a Nigerian nurse who is practicing in Canada. It will, it is, it's best for you. And they will be able to help you through the pros and the cons and the nitty gritties. Okay. Enough of that. So we're going to move on to the prerequisite or the requirements to practice as a nurse in the United Arab Emirates. Now, this um, video is going to be split into two. So this is part A. So we're going to move to part B, where I will conclude on various steps to take to be practice, to practice and be licensed as a nurse in the United Arab Emirates. But a brief introduction into United Arab Emirates. It's actually um, uh, made up of um, seven emirates. Um, that come together to become United Arab Emirates and um, quite uh, they are quite accommodating. Yes, it's a fluid country, it's a tourist country, but it still gives room for um, professionals that are coming from various parts of the world, but with the right requirement, the right um, um, certifications to practice in their country. Okay, so it's a fluid country. It's the laws keep changing, but right now, at least, I have the information as of September 2021. So, um, it's also a tax-free country. That means that whatever fee that you are being, you are expected to get, there's no tax being paid on it. No, no, no. It's a tax-free country, so that's a good one for 
um, for all of us. So also, we also like you to know that it's um, it's not so 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 rigid as people call it. Yes, it's not so rigid. It's a flexible country. So let's get right into all the requirements that is needed to practice in the United Arab Emirates. So number one, you would need your passport size um, photograph, two by two. That's two inches by two inches, and then you'd need um, to have either a red or white background that's number one then number two you will need your international passport that's the data page of your international passport which is going to be valid and then it has your full face yes and your name the full names that you want to be written on all of your documents you also need your college diploma now this college diploma it has to do with those who went to schools of nursing for diploma nursing though they do accept um diploma or they, and they can also accept bachelors in nursing sciences, which is much their own most preferred. But in cases where you don't have your bachelors or you have only your diploma, you can be enrolled or you can be licensed as an assistant nurse. But if you have a specialty, the better for you. So all of your college certificates are going to be um, scanned to them. Either school of nursing, school of midwifery, school of public health, school of whichever ones that you have the, um, the certification from nursing and midwifery council of Nigeria, you you need that. Then you also not notification of results, please. It has to be your certificate, your original certificate. Then you also need two years of experience. Yes, they always want you to already have maybe two years of experience from your home country, and before you um. You, you come in as to work as a licensed nurse in the United Arab Emirates. It's also very important. Then you also need your basic life support certificate. Now that basic life support certificate is um, it's preferable. We have a lot of institutions that are offering it, but so that it does not get bounced or is rejected, it's better that you use um, a, an internationally recognized institution offering that particular um, certificate, basic life support. You could use um, any institution that is affiliated with um, American Health Association or you could use um, Rescue and Safety Initiative or American Safety and Health Initiative. So any of those three is they're fine. Um, so the institute make sure that the institution is licensed and registered to disseminate or give the certification for the basic um, life support. Now it could it just be of some hours of training and you get certified at the end of it. So the ranges are you know different. It could range from say maybe six hundred dirhams, three hundred dirhams, depending on the institution. Then you also need your good standing certificate. Yes, that good standing certificate is very important. Now not good standing from your from uh, a police station or from no, no from an employer. No, it has to be um, good standing certificate from. The Northern Amity Council of Nigeria, they're going to introduce you, they're going to tell, in the letter, they're going to explain your, um, your, uh, your, your certification that you have your, to buttress your license, and then they're also going to, um, like a good conduct certificate, sort of, it's called good standing, and then it's going to be, um, it's going to be addressed to the Dubai Health Authority that you are trying to get licensed from. So that is very, very important. Nothing I'm different, so we'll be the ones to um, give that good standing certificate to you. Then you also need your home country license. Yes, your home country license, which must be valid. That is also very important, your home country license. So all these things are the main, main requirements that you would need to um, put in or, 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 or apply to be a nurse in the United Arab Emirates. Now, like I said, I said this video is going to be split into two. Part one, which we are doing right now, and then the part two will be coming. Now, the part two, I'm going to be explaining in details what to do from each point because it's not just you having all the certifications and then um, saying you're coming to the United Arab Emirates. No. There are, there are steps to take, there are steps to follow from the beginning of the process all the way to the end. But before the end, so I'm going to talk about that one in the next um, video. Now, before the end of this video, I'd just like, like you to understand and know that the process takes time. So it's not something that you can say you do within the within a week or two weeks or one month or two months or three months. It takes time. And the reason why it takes time is that they always want to verify all of your information well before they can say yes, you can come and 
like the license of to practice in the United Arab Emirates. They are always very finicky and they don't like cutting corners. So as much as possible, we are trying to glorify the, the, the black race and the, the humanity. So please make sure that all your documents are they are original and they are verified and they are they are they are good to go okay so if you don't have them it is important that you just strive to get them and then you can also um apply okay so i'm gonna end this video now please like share and subscribe and then you're gonna see you in the next um video where i you know give you in details on how to apply for the licensing in the united arab emirates so see you in my next video thank you so much for always supporting the nursing with abby so it's um bye for now see you in my next video